Squats and lunges are some of the best exercises you can perform to strengthen your legs. They're also super functional movements as well. But what if pain in our knee is limiting our ability to perform these exercises? Well, today I've totally got you covered. I wanted to share with you 10 of the best exercises that you can do at home that aren't squats and aren't lunges that will help to not only strengthen your leg, but have also been proven to decrease pain in your knee as well. Regularly performing these exercises can actually get you back into those squats and those lunges and doing those activities pain-free. Now, 10 exercises is kind of a lot, and I don't necessarily recommend you do all of these every single day, but what I would encourage you to do is identify the four or five that help your knee to feel the best and then perform those regularly for the next couple of weeks. And if you do that, I know you'll see some improvement. The first thing I wanna show you is a great exercise for your quadriceps muscle right here on top of your leg. We would start with a short arc quad. What I've got is a foam roll right here under my knee. You can also do this with a large beach towel rolled up or even a towel or excuse me, a pillow doubled over. Just something so there's a slight bend in our knee. Now what I want you to do is fire this quad muscle right here on the top of your leg, lift your heel up and straighten your leg out as much as possible. Hold that for about a three second count and then slowly return back down. And what I want you to focus on is really feeling this contraction right here in this quad muscle. I would recommend that you repeat that 15 to 20 times and then three sets on that exercise. And in my opinion, most cases of knee pain are tolerant to this exercise. This is generally one that's pretty safe. If that does feel okay, the next step or the next progression that I would go through would be a long arc quad. And so to do that, now I've got my leg bent over the edge of my treatment table here. It's in a 90 degree position. What I'm going to do is straighten it out to this zero degree position and then return back down to that 90 again. And so we're all the way straight, we're all the way bent. Basically, we're just working through a greater range of motion. Helps that muscle to contract a little harder, a little more functional as we're working it through a greater range of motion. And again, same parameters on this, about 15 to 20 reps and then repeat that three times if you can. Next, let's get into, this is one of my favorite ways to activate the quads with the hip flexors, two functional groups that like to work together. Uh, this is going to be a straight leg raise. I'm going to sit semi-reclined, this leg's out straight. My first step is to contract that quad. So I'm gonna fire that nice, good, strong quad contraction, keep my legs straight as I lift my foot about 18 inches up off of the table, and then return right back down. So up, hold, one, two, three, and then a nice slow return back down to that starting position. And you're really gonna feel this in that quad and up here in those hip flexors. Those are two muscles that are key in controlling knee movement. Oftentimes they get weak with knee pain. This is a great way to strengthen those and to help those to become more functional. And on that one, usually about 10 to 15 reps repeated three times is what I recommend. Let's uh, shift our focus now to the hamstring muscles. That's the group right here on the back. My favorite home exercise for that would be some hamstring curls on a ball or on an exercise ball. Um, if you don't have one of these, they are pretty cheap. I've got one linked in the description down below. But what we're gonna do is start with the ball under our feet. Uh, the beginner version of this would be to just pull that ball up towards our hips and then return right back out. So I've got both feet on the ball, both hamstrings, these muscles right here, are actively pulling that ball up towards me and then slowly returning back to the starting position. If that feels okay, you can get rid of one leg and so now we're just working the one leg at a time. But the method that I prefer would actually be to come up into a bridge. So I've lifted my hips up off of the table or up off of the floor and now I'm gonna do that same motion. Pull with those hamstrings, pull that ball up towards your hips and then slowly return right back down. And you're definitely gonna feel that again right here in these hamstring muscles. They're so important in controlling how the knee moves and they often get overlooked. Those are weak in a lot of people or, uh, and, and strengthening them is a great way to decrease pain and improve function. Uh, about 10 to 15 reps repeated three times on that one. The next thing that I've got for you would be the muscles on the side of your hip. So in a sideline abduction motion, this is gonna work the abductors 
what, that are so important in controlling where our knee bends. This is one that's often weak in people with knee pain. Um, this is what that looks like. So I'm gonna lay down on my left side. My right leg would be the one that's painful or the one that I'm working on. My left leg is bent, my right leg is out straight. I'm gonna keep my right leg straight and focus on lifting the heel up towards the ceiling. So I don't want your toes to turn up towards the ceiling. You've gotta keep your foot down in this position and then lift your heel up towards the ceiling. You should feel that right here, these little muscles up here on the side of your hip that's where we're trying to go with that one and about 10 to 15 reps repeated three times again that's probably one of my favorites um, a lot of knee pain is caused by hip weakness or weakness in these muscles right here so that's a great exercise for it and so then finally the last thing I want to show you kind of here on the table the last floor exercise would be a bridge this is a great exercise for the glute group so for the glute max the hip extensors in the back Lay on your back with both knees bent. The beginner version would be to contract these glutes, lift the hips up towards the ceiling, hold one, two, three, and then slowly return back down. If you can do 15 to 20 reps of that, most people are pretty strong, pretty tolerant to that. I usually like to progress to the single leg version where I would extend one leg out straight. Right now my left leg is straight, my right leg is bent. What I'm going to do is contract the glutes on the right side to lift my hips and my straight left leg up towards the ceiling. Hold one, two, three, return right back down nice and slow, and then we're going to repeat that for about 10 to 15 reps. And that's a great way to really just isolate right into that right glute, get those muscles fired up, and then I would try to do that one for three sets. The next four exercises are standing, they're upright, weight bearing, a little more functional. We're going to get started with some heel raises. Your calves actually cross your knee, well, one of your calf muscles crosses your knee joint in the back. Heel raises is a great way to work that and to stabilize kind of the back side of your knee. You're gonna to come to a stair, you're gonna put the balls of both feet up onto that stair, hold onto a railing or somewhere for safety, but then what we're gonna do is use the calf muscles to lift the heels up above the level of the stair and then slowly return right back down. Go through just as full range of motion as you can on this, really try to contract that calf at the top of the contraction. And on this one, your calves are super, uh, super resilient they're a little stronger typically 15 to 20 repetitions repeated three times is a good number to shoot for the next exercise is also on the step this is going to be a hip hike great way to work the hip as well as kind of the quad and the control in a single leg or balance activity you're gonna to come to the edge of the stair and then slowly lower yourself until your heel of your other foot just touches and then lift it back up and then I want to pull this heel as high as I or excuse me this hip as high as I can. I should have mentioned I'm standing on my left leg. That's the one that we would be working. And so I'm going to slightly bend that leg just until this heel touches. And then I'm going to pull back to upright and then continue to lift this hip up towards the ceiling. You're going to feel that again in these hip abductors right over here. That's where I want you to emphasize. That's where you should feel that contraction. Again, just a great way to work the lateral muscles and the quads together to control where that knee is in space while you're doing this activity. And usually about 10 reps repeated three times is a great number to shoot for. The next exercise is going to require the use of a band. And so I have this elastic band right here. Um, once again, super cheap to pick up. Link in the description if you don't have one. But what we're going to do here are some lateral band walks. Um, one of my favorite, again, just functional exercises to strengthen your hips and your quads together. So band is around my knees. I'm in a quarter squat position. What I'm going to do is take a big step with my left leg or my leading leg, and then a half a step with my right leg. So I don't want that band to bring them together forcefully. I wanna control that motion throughout the entire motion. So a big step with the leading leg, half a step in good control with the trailing leg, and what I would recommend here is typically, typically I say go 10 steps to the left and then 10 steps to the right. If you don't quite have that much space, five to the left, five to the right, or sometimes you can even go, so this was to the left and then this is to the right, back and forth. But usually about 10 steps in each direction and then repeat that three times. Our last exercise is going to be a single leg deadlift. So if I were working right here on the left, this is a great way to get glutes, 
hip abductors and quads, even some hamstrings involved too. Great exercise overall. I'm gonna stand on my left leg, right leg is going to hinge backwards. I'm going to keep my back nice and straight, slight bend in my left leg as I lower my torso down towards the ground. That's kind of the bottom of the contraction. Now I wanna pull with my glute and ham to pull back into this upright position. And so that was one rep. And then we're going to repeat that one 10 times on the left, 10 times on the right. Again, great way to work on that control and stability. Now, if you need more help with your knee pain, totally got you covered here on Tone and Titan. Check out this video for more. Here's a button to subscribe to my channel. Hit that if you haven't done so already. I'd love to see you back for more videos. Hope these help. Hope to see you again soon.